We lost the elections. BQ says stick to the plan. When are the 75,000 federal indictments going to be unsealed? When is the FISA declassification going to happen? Is it the end of the world? Is Trump going to declare an emergency to build the wall? What are these comets heading towards the Earth? How bad is the global solar minimum going to be? Is it 33 years or 400 years? <laughs> All these do merit consideration. <laughs> I got I to gotta rush out of doing that. <laughs> But uh, let me go over this uh, Robert Heinlein quote. I'm not sure that's how you pronounce his name, but a human being should be able to change a diaper, plan an invasion, butcher a hog, con a ship, design a building, write a sonnet, balance accounts, build a wall, set a bone, comfort the dying, take orders, give orders, cooperate. Act alone, solve equations, analyze a new problem, pitch manure, program a computer, cook a tasty meal, fight efficiently, die gallantly. Specialization is for insects. So, I'm sorry, this is Ozark's brother Jerry. I got so excited with my intro, I uh, lost control of myself. Uh, so I want to talk today about balance. Now, these Robert Heinlein quote, you know, most people, and I always did, took it to mean like these are all of the things you need to do to perhaps survive the apocalypse. But these are also things you should do all these different things so you have balance. Um, you know, this. If this stuff, if you just focus on the news, it'll eat you up. And then a lot of people just quit watching the news. I mean, I, I don't actually watch the news. I don't watch TV, but I do watch videos. So, but uh, you can't, you know, you can't get weighed down. I mean, I'm not even talking about losing your, your mind, but you can't get weighed down by this to where you make unbalanced judgments. So, uh, um, my one of my solutions to this is uh i played the guitar i was taking lessons a couple of years ago and then life intervened and uh so just a few weeks ago i picked it up again um, and then i even bought a, a second little electric one but uh i may be getting ahead of myself first samuel sixteen twenty three says and it came to pass when the evil spirit from elohim was upon shaul Dawid took a harp and played it with his hand. So Saul was refreshed, was refreshed and was well. And the evil spirit departed from him. So uh, the father would send down an evil spirit to vex Shaul or Saul. And uh, when David or Dawid played the harp that refreshed, that refreshed Saul. So my new little guitar is, is really it's for primarily for the blues. So I was looking around online, and there's this the preeminent blues player in Israel is uh, Laser Lloyd. And he says that King David was the first blues man. <laughs> so, so, you know, in, in the verse, he's playing, uh, he's playing for Shaul. But uh, we know that David was broken and had a contrite spirit, you know, the whole time he was running from, from Shaul. And, uh, and, and we know, you know, he had a problem with his kids and everything else. So I can see him sitting around playing the blues on the harp. <laughs> so, you know, I don't know. I'll buy it. Uh, LiveScience.com. There's an article there. It's called, Is Playing a Music Musical Instrument Good for Your Health? And uh, it was a resounding yes. It can lower your blood pressure. It can decrease your heart rate. It can reduce stress. And it lessens anxiety and depression. And to that end, I'll, I'll explain what I have. I have a Yamaha FFG331. I bought used 10 or 12 years ago for one of my kids. And, uh, of course, they didn't use it. But uh, it makes a nice little guitar. I think it goes for two or 300 bucks now. Um, and the book I use is Acoustic Guitar for Beginners, Deluxe Edition. And that's by Burt Casey, C-A-S-E-Y. 
and it came with a CD. Now, I've never used a CD. Um, so I took lessons for a while, and, you know, I learned a number of chords. Uh, but then a couple years go by, I didn't remember one. But it comes back to you pretty quick. And you can use that book. You know, I never used the book, really. I, I paid attention to the instructor. But he just covered what was in the book. I think someone could do it just from, uh, could learn it just from the book. So uh, so I had that acoustic guitar, and then I have a knockoff of a, of a cigar box electric guitar with a little pig nose amp. Um, I mean, that little guitar was like 29 bucks, three string, and the pig nose amp's like 75 bucks. But uh, it's a hoot to play, and you can, you can plug it in, or you can run on batteries. Uh, so I'm not sure why, but I will uh, I'll play a little. My, my playing is atrocious. But it makes the point that even if it's horrible, you know, your playing will make you happy. You know, you just kind of focus on that. You just kind of focus on playing and you just forget everything else. I mean, I, I'm not, I don't think I'm unduly burdened, you know, by, by circumstances. But uh, it, it really lifts my countenance to play, you know. Um, so here you go. Okay, now you guys have to be supportive. Um, can't be negative. Can't hurt my feelings. <laughs> I know I can't sing. I know I can't play. But this is just part of my video balance. Amazing Grace. And this is acoustic. Uh, this is a Yamaha acoustic guitar. I don't know. I'm thinking I paid maybe 120 bucks for it 10 years ago.
Okay, so this is a uh, this is a uh, inexpensive imitation cigar box guitar. It's electrified. Um, cigar bo cigar box guitars, as I understand, had their uh, their birth during the depression. People are poor. They're taking literally cigar boxes. You can search it online, and they put a put a neck onto a cigar box, and they play it. Um, you typically, some of them have one string, two strings, three strings. This one's got three strings. Uh, some have four. But, uh, so I just had this one a couple of weeks, and I want to make my own, but this is like 29 bucks. I just wanted to get it, play it, see how it's built, and I'm going to build my own. Matter of fact, I'm going today to a smoke shop to see if I can get a decent looking uh, cigar box or two. But you can you can play songs on these, and I have a songbook coming, and there's a lot on YouTube. But to a large degree, people just sit around on the porch and play riffs with them, which is kind of what I've been doing. And this is, uh, and and most of it is blues, whether it's Mississippi hill blues or a Delta, you know, Delta blues, uh, Laser, uh, the preeminent blues player in Israel is uh, Laser Lloyd. He said King David was the original blues man. You know, he was contrite. He had a broken spirit. So, uh, you know, believe it or not. But this is uh, catfish blues. I call it the unclean fish blues. It's just a riff. And I've already started the room. I've got, I've got three or four riffs, but uh, you know, take your, take your, uh, let your mind relax for a while, and especially if you're getting ready for Shabbat and you're trying to get your mind right. Nothing like playing Amazing Grace or maybe the Revelation song with the acoustic to get your mind right. So uh, that's all of my demo, <laughs> my pathetic demo. <laughs> Well, I told you it was bad. <laughs> I hope you didn't unsubscribe from me because it was so bad. Uh, you know, a smart guy I know used winners. He said that's a good time to learn a new instrument. Um, and man, he can play anything from a keyboard uh, to a violin. So uh, I'm thinking once you learn one, you know, it helps you. Even if it's, it might be a you know an air instrument or a, a string instrument, it helps you learn the next. But uh, Spring is almost upon us. 
man, it's like raining and icy here today. But we have our cabbage started and our broccoli. Yeah, and something else. But uh, get your seed started. We'll see you next time.